Congratulations on winning Miss Universe Philippines Bohol 2024. Candidate number three, Christina Maria Schott, 21, Panglao. Bianca Olaso Gaviola, 24, City of Tabila. Oh, thank you. So are you. Thank you for appreciating one good. So I hear that you are a TikTok creator. Yes. How do you manage your time and your activity on social media responsibly? Well, I do only TikToks for fun, but um, I, do, I do not really do some TikTok videos um, every day. I just only do TikToks when, when I am on my anxiety attack. Because it can, it can help boost my confidence when I do TikTok dancing and, and creating TikTok videos. Well, thank you for sharing that and for being vulnerable. I'm sure many people here are so happy to hear that they're not alone in their anxiety. All right, kindly choose your question. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you for helping me out. Candidate number 11. My question is, how does greed for power affect our world? Once again, how does greed for power affect our world? Thank you. Greed for power affects our world, really. It is really crucial because nowadays, there's a lot of corruption, misleading. So we really need a good leaders to guide, for guidance and to stop um, corruption and do a better way to rule the world. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Yes. Hi, candidate number 13. Hello. I hear that you are a painter and you love That's to paint. Right. That is an amazing talent. And my question is like, if you could paint a photo that symbolizes your life, what would it be of? Definitely it would be an image of a mother holding a child because me, I grew up with a single mom and life was hard. And I would want people to resonate with that painting. They could resonate with their struggles as well. And that would be amazing. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit about your background. Are you ready for your question? Definitely. All right, please go choose. All right. I did not expect it would be so difficult to juggle all of these papers in my hand. Kindly bear with me. <laughs> Candidate number 13, your question is, 
if you had a remote control for men, what would be your first command? Once again, if you had a remote control for men, what would be your first command? You know, men in our society are viewed as strongly masculine. If I had a remote control, my first command really is to allow them to be vulnerable, to feel love, to express love rather, to be compassionate and passionate. If we were to celebrate masculinity this way, we can truly move forward as a progressive Filipino society. Thank you.